In this video, we're going to be covering every single method that comes with lists in Python. So just to explain it real quick, we have 11 that we are going to be covering, such as append, clear, extend, index, all the way to sort. And this function is not including the dunder methods. So if we just remove dunder methods, you'll notice that there's a lot more that comes with list. But we will keep this video sweet, simple, and informative. So we will start with the basic 11. And what I mean by list methods is, suppose you have a list, as soon as you use dot notation, you're going to get some context options, and they're going to be the methods that belong to the list type. It appears we are being invaded by helicopters. And I need to wait for the helicopter. Helicopter. The first method is append. We have a list of people here, and we want to add a person. The best way to add a person here is to append a person. So we can type in people.append and Luigi can join the party. And if we print the people, we will have Luigi appended to this list. And I'm gonna put this down a bit. Next, we have clear. And clear just empties the list completely. So now if we want to print this list of people, we will have no one inside the list because we cleared the list. Number three. Suppose you want to copy this list. Now, to do that, we'll type in copy people, for example, of list of type string. And here we'll just type in people.copy. So here we performed a shallow copy, which means we can edit one dimensional arrays without any side effects. So now we can type in copy people.remove and we can remove Trump, for example. And if we print both people and print copy people, we will have two separate lists with two separate IDs. These are their own objects. But as I mentioned in a previous video, if you have a list of multiple dimensions, such as a list of string inside a list of string, so here we will just type in uh, Elon and Bob, his favorite employee. If we try to change this element, it's going to change both of them for both people and copy people. So here we'll type in copy people at the index of one at the index of one is going to equal cat. So this should replace Bob only in copy people in theory, because of course we copied that array, but if we run the script, it's going to replace it in both lists. But if you're curious about what happened there, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video that I made regarding that. For number four, we have count. And for this example, I had to duplicate Elon in the list. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. But here we can now type in people.count and, and we can select a value that we want to count the number of occurrences in the list for, such as Elon. And we should assign this to its very own variable called Elons. And we're going to print Elons. So here we have two Elons in the list and that's what count is doing. It's counting the occurrences of an object inside an array. So we can do it also with Mario and we only have one Mario there. And if we type in something that doesn't exist, such as Apple, we will have zero as a return. Next, we have extend. So suppose we have another list or another iterable that we want to append to this list. With extend, we can do that quite easily, but we need to create a list first. So people two of list of type string is going to equal Apple and banana. Then we will just append to people or actually extend the people with this list. So extend that list with people too, and we will print the original list of people. And when we run it, we will have that list inside this list. If you want to put a list inside a list, just add a list and it's going to put that list inside that list. So you can put anything that's iterable inside extend and it will add it to the list. Now, suppose you want to find out the location of a certain element in a list. Python has a method called index to do just that. So if we are searching for Trump, you can just type in Trump here. And if you run it, nothing's going to happen because it's supposed to return to us a value and we will print that value. So we will find out that Trump is at the index of two. So that can be quite beneficial in a large list. Now, if you type in something that doesn't exist, such as Luigi, we're going to get an error. So you need to make sure you handle this properly and try to find elements that actually exist in your list. 
Suppose you need to insert an element at a specific index. You can do that using the insert keyword. So people dot insert. And here we need to put a value and we can say we want to put Luigi next to Mario. So we're going to insert Luigi at the index of one. So here we'll say Luigi one. Uh, and this didn't work because I used index instead of insert and looks like I'm still a noob because the position comes first and then Luigi. And now if we print this list of people, we will have Luigi right next to Mario because that's where we wanted to insert Luigi. We wanted to make sure Luigi was at the index of one. Now, if we try to insert Luigi at the index of five, it's going to insert it at the end of the list. So it doesn't matter how far you go up. You can put 100,000 if you want, or that's 10,000. Now 100,000 if you want, and Luigi will still be appended to the end. And you can also do minus 1,000, and Luigi will be appended to the front. So it does its best to find the location you want to put it. And if that location makes sense, it will place it right there. For number eight, suppose you want to remove an element from the array and return it. One way to do this would be to call people.pop. So if you call it by default and print the people, it's going to pop the last person from the list, which is Trump. But you can also specify an index. So if you want to pop Mario, you can type in pop Mario at the index of zero. And what's nice about pop is that it returns a value. So we can say popped is going to equal people.pop. So we can type in print people and print popped. And if we run it, we'll have Mario that was popped from it. So you can do some sort of further processing if you need to do that. Very similar to pop, we have remove. And it's actually very straightforward. You type in people.remove and you provide the value that you want to remove. This time we don't want Elon. So we will print people after having removed Elon and he will no longer be part of the list. And if we try to remove someone that doesn't exist, such as Luigi, we're going to get a value error that that value cannot be removed because it doesn't exist. Next, we have reverse, which does exactly what it says. So if we have some people, we can say people.reverse, and then we can print these people. And if we print the people, it's just going to reverse that list. And as you saw there, it was just that simple. Finally, we have sort, which allows us to sort our list according to some sort of key. And we don't need to provide a key originally, it's going to do it alphabetically. So we can type in people.sort and print the people. And by doing that, we will have the people in alphabetical order. Although it's important to note that if you have letters that are lowercase and uppercase, it's going to start with the uppercase and then do the lowercase. So sometimes it might be a good idea to provide a key. So for example, we can type in key and here we can provide a lambda function or you can just create a normal function if you want. So the parameter is going to be the name and we're just going to return the name dot lower. This way, even if Bob is uppercase or lowercase or Trump is uppercase or lowercase, if we print these people, they're going to be returned in alphabetical order regardless of their case. Or you can also create some sort of key that returns the people depending on the length of their name. So here we start with Bob, Elon, Mario, Trump, and Luigi. And this is going to be in alphabetical order since they all match at five. And as with any sort function, you can also reverse it by setting reverse to true. And if you run that, we'll have the reverse of what we just did. And to keep it simple, we can also get rid of the key and just run reverse. And it's going to work exactly the same way. We're going to start with Trump, Bob, Mario, Luigi, and Elon after having sorted the list. But those were the 11 list methods in Python explained. Do let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below, whether there's some cool trick or tip you know about it, which I did not explain in the video. I would love to read that. But with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.